Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are working on our steam locomotive. Now this is what we have right here. In the previous video we actually got it moving, which is pretty nice. Uh, today what I think we're going to do is relieve some of the pressure. Now I've been told that the condensers that we put on the inside are very inefficient and they don't work very well. So what we'll do is we'll replace those with water tanks and hopefully uh, we'll be able to work it out from there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so the first thing that we want to do is go to the inside and get rid of these condensers. Apparently there is no point in using them, so we are not going to use them. Let's go ahead and get rid of this from here all the way to the front, delete that guy and all of these guys to make sure that it is completely fine, which it is. The next thing we need to do is get ourselves a tank, which is going to be our water tank. And hopefully we can pass through uh, a bunch of water in order to make this actually work. So if we put that right there, we can put the water going into each tank, obviously. So grab these guys and send that through there. And do the same thing on this side. Oh, actually. All right, hang on. <laughs> we need to sort this out. So that goes there like that. Uh, we need to delete this guy, grab this guy, delete that one, and put it there like this. There we go. Nice. Delete that guy, get a straight pipe, put those guys in, and do the same right here and right there. Okay, so those are going to be water tanks, uh, as you might have expected, and uh, that is fine. Okay, I don't think we're going to fill them. However, I might be wrong with this. We might need them filled. I'm not sure. But there we go. We've done the change very quickly, actually. All right, so there are more things that we actually need to do then. So if the boiler needs to relieve pressure, uh, I guess what we can do is have some steam fly straight out of this uh, somewhere down here. So... We'll have steam come straight out of the train from the underside going behind the front wheels. I think that makes some sort of sense to me, so that is what we're going to do. So, if we can delete this, and we can get ourselves a... Oh, yeah, okay, a pipe. Uh, it is actually going to be one of these guys, uh, wherever they are, one of these. And we're going to do this. So that's going to go on there just like that. We're then going to go sideways. And then we're going to go sideways again. And then from here, we're on both sides. Yes, we are. So, we need a valve. Okay. Sorry, I blew into the mic there by accident. But essentially, this valve is going to be something that controls whether uh, we explode or whether we don't explode. So, um, it's kind of important, actually. <laughs> it's very important. So, we're going to go ahead and pipe this straight down. If I can, get it inside of there. And that's going to go straight down from there. Excellent. We're then going to go ahead and have it go straight down. Just like so. And then we're going to go ahead and have... Um, Air? I think it's air. They're called this. Air ram. And we're going to go ahead and have it fire out the side. So if our pressure gets too high in the boiler, that will open up and release the pressure. I think that's right, anyway. Okay, so in order to make that work then, let's get a greater than. Yes, okay. I don't know whether this is a good way of doing it or a bad way of doing it. I have no idea. Uh, but we'll see if it works. So, put this in. Uh, if this value... Wait, value to compare to... Value to compare. So if... This value, the pressure, is higher than 8, so we need a number, uh, then we'll be fine. Okay, so if this is higher than 8, the valves will open, and that will let the steam out. Okay, I think that makes sense. Maybe. Uh, so select this, make it 8. Do, 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 do. There you go, excellent. Actually, if that value is higher than 8, then this goes to... Oh, hang on. What am I doing? I used the wrong valves. I used the wrong valves. So if we put those on there, let's make sure this is correct, actually. This is in. Yes. Okay. So then this goes to there, which opens the valves. And there we go. Hopefully that works. I'm assuming it will, but I don't know. I genuinely don't know. So, um, in order to test this then, um, we need to actually get it moving, sort of. Also, another thing that we need to do, uh, before the steam goes in... We need that on a valve itself, which is going to be one of these guys, which hopefully will fit in there somewhere. I don't know whether it will. Ah, oh, it doesn't quite fit. But if we deleted this piece, we can have it fit in there. Okay, so bring that down. Turn it around. Delete this guy. Put it in there like that. And let's make sure this is correct. Oh, actually, we don't need it on both sides. Undo whatever I've just done. There we go. Okay, so only on one side. Delete this. Uh, no, don't delete that. Delete, no, don't delete that. Delete this, 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 and this. And we want to put that in there just like so. All right, cool. So in order to make sure this is correct, this needs to be the other way around. So it needs to be pointing inwards rather than outwards. Bam. 
There we go, excellent. So what this does is essentially gives us a, uh, a throttle so we can actually make it go forwards and we can make it stop if we need to. So let's get ourselves a throttle lever. We'll put it in here, uh, off to the side. In fact, actually, right there. That seems like a good place for it, actually. So we're going to put that directly in there. This is going to control whether we go forwards or not. Bam! There we go. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and spawn this in. We'll see if we can move it forwards, and we'll see if it works, and that'll be great. All right, so, oh, actually, we should do some other stuff, too. We should probably put some dials in so that we can see what's going on, and we'll go from there. So, dial, yes. We're going to go ahead and put one, oh, the right way up. One, two, and three. Uh, that's going to be uh, boiler pressure. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This is going to be firebox uh, temperature. There you go. And this is going to be our speed uh, for right now. That's fine. Okay, so this is firebox temperature. Let's go ahead and connect that directly to this. This is our boiler pressure. So go ahead and connect that to there. Uh, we might need boiler pressure and volume, uh, but that's not as important. We're also going to get ourselves a speedo. We're just going to go ahead and shove it in here. Do, 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 do. If we can put it inside, that'd be great. Uh, somewhere in the middle-ish, I guess is fine. So we'll go ahead and put that right there like that. And that should be good too. Connect this directly up to there. And go. Alright, so firebox temperature is going up. That is excellent. Uh, we need our boiler pressure to go up too. However, um, actually I should have put boiler temperature here instead. But that's fine. So as soon as the boiler temperature actually gets to 100, um, this should start going up. But we don't actually have a dial for that, so never mind. Okay, never mind that, never mind. I added a dial. This is our boiler temperature. So we just got to wait for this to get to 100. That should start building up. As soon as that gets to 8, our steam should start coming out of the side, and that should stop it from exploding. Whether that's actually going to work or not, I'm not so sure, but we'll see. And there we go. Our boiler pressure is now rising. Excellent. Okay, so uh, firebox temperature is actually very high. Uh, I think we should limit that. I feel like we should limit that. I'm not actually sure. Uh, our speed is obviously zero right now because we aren't moving. Uh, and we actually don't have any brakes currently, so that's fine. We also don't actually have a tender either, so that's also a thing. But um, we'll, we'll get one of those very soon. Also, a few of you guys did mention that maybe we should change this wheel. Uh, and this wheel, and also that wheel and this wheel, uh, to be different. I don't actually mind what they look like on this. I feel like they look okay. Uh, but I do understand where you're coming from. So we might do that in the future. Anyway, boiler pressure is 8. We should start to see steam come out the sides, which we are. And that's fine. Is it actually regulating fully? Um, it is. It's not going much higher than 8. So, if we now do this. Okay, our boiler pressure is staying at around 8. That's fine. We are moving. What speed are we going? 36 meters per second. That's actually not too bad. Okay, so if we keep going. The steam is coming out the sides because that's where it needs to come out of. And that is lowering our pressure. Excellent. It's totally working. Okay, so just to test this fully, let's go ahead and drop this down to zero. Make sure that the pressure doesn't build up after that because it might. Because uh, we can't actually get rid of it properly, the steam. Because the steam was being used and now it's not being used. So I'm not sure how that works. Uh, but the steam should be coming out the sides like really really fast but it's not you see the pressure is now building up and i'm not entirely sure why <laughs> you know because the steam is coming out the sides so that doesn't make sense but it is going to blow up oh that's annoying all right let's just wait for it to blow up just so we can see it happen there we go interesting okay so we tried to do our job there and it didn't really work but that's fine so what we're going to do now is actually try and pick a color for this thing because i think it would be awesome to do that uh, and we're going to go ahead and paint the outside that color. Now, I'm thinking this green is about right, which is very, very strange and very off color for me. Uh, because it is green and it is not red. But I think the green actually looks pretty good. So we might have to keep it. We're also going to drag that in. We're going to drag these guys in. And we're going to drag that in. And we're also going to drag that side in. And at the front, we're going to drag that that color. Spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I actually don't mind that green color. I think it looks okay. Uh, the other thing I should mention is I want some gold to be running through this as well. So we might actually delete all of this line all the way to the back right there like that. Get ourselves some paint uh, blocks. Here we go. Paintable signs. And go ahead and smack those in the side like this. There's one. Oh, I'm going to have to actually draw all of these in. That's really annoying, but sure. So these are going to go all the way down the side. 
uh, to the front, and hopefully that'll be okay. I'm sure it will be. Do -do 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 -do. And then once we've done this, we're actually going to go ahead and add some gold to it. I know that's kind of strange, but I think it'll work. So go all the way down, yes, until we get to here. Then we're going to change it to this color and keep going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go, nice. Okay, so the gold color is going to be this, and that's it. So, I think if we draw a line, I think it's going to be quite a thick line. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, so just like this, but we're going to go ahead and make it three wide, I think. And essentially send this all the way down to the end. Okay, yeah, so grab this and send it. Okay, I'm going to do that in my own time, and then I'll be back with you guys in a second once this is painted. Okay, I've done it. What does everybody think of this? I know it looks very strange as of right now, and it looks very kind of out of place, but at the same time, I actually kind of like it. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the green. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the, gr uh, the gold. Um, and the colors that we've actually went for here. Now, it is sort of interchangeable, though. So if we wanted this green to be, let's say, frantic red, all we have to do is find frantic red, change it like this, uh, and then change all of this color, obviously, um, and do it like this. And then we would have a red, a, a red train. Uh, I don't want to do all of that now, but that is that is very easy to change actually. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it green. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. The other thing we're gonna do is also make this green because uh, I feel like it should be. Uh, and these guys also have to be green. Oh my, there's a lot to do when you change something like this. Uh, but hopefully that's okay. So change all of those. There we go, and that is looking pretty good. Then what we're gonna do is get the gray back. And we're going to paint this gray. There we go. All of the inside of here is pretty much going to be gray. And the top bit probably is going to be gray too. I know that seems a little bit bad, but I think it is. I, I do. Uh, we're also going to paint the insides of these gray. There we go. And all of this gray. And all of this gray. And there we go. It should start to look a lot better when we do this. We're then going to drag that gray. We're going to drag that gray. And we're going to drag this gray. Okay. As well as this. As this. And that's already done. Okay, spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, I do think that the top piece also has to be gray too. I wasn't going to do it. I was going to leave it white, but I think it's got to be gray as well. So there we go. All right, we did it. What do we think? We did it. What do we think? Paint that green. Paint that green. Go. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think it looks pretty good, actually. Okay, the other thing that I want to do as well, actually, is paint this bit green too. So, oh, how do I go about doing that, actually? Oh, there we go. It just works. Okay, that's good. And the side bits, or the, the pipes that are going in there, are actually going to be gold. Uh, and the wheels themselves, that bit's going to be gold. And can I do the edge gold? Oh, yeah. There we go. The edge is going to be gold too. If I can get around to doing that on every single wheel, that would be amazing. Uh, not the inside, but the outside. I don't know how we go about doing that. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then the inside bit in the middle. No, 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 no. The outside, no. The uh, No. How do I paint this properly? There we go. Okay, good. And then we're going to do the same thing with these guys. So that and also... No, not this. Not that. Oh, God. Not... No, 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 no. I'm struggling to do this, it turns out. No. 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 This is ridiculous. Do the outside rim. That's what I want. No. 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 Hey, there we go. We got it eventually. And no, come on. There we go. Woo, we did it. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like now. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Because the insides of those wheels have to be gray. And then that'll look fine, I think. And there it is. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I feel about this because this bit is also very, uh, it's very flashy. I mean, it, it very much stands out. Uh, whereas in real life, I guess it wouldn't stand out as much. Also, this being this color doesn't make much sense to me either. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how we fix that either. Uh, but it looks, it looks okay. That bit is glitching out a little bit, so we'll have to paint that. Um, but yeah, I actually don't mind it in this color either. So, let's get inside, get it moving, and um, we'll go from there. I guess. So, let me in. That's the first thing. There we go. Let me in and see if we can do this. Oh, actually, before we move, before we move, uh, I want to put a little seat in. Uh, and this little seat is going to be where we control the thing from. So, we're going to go back there, back there. Seat. Yes, we're going to do this. Just like so. And then we can go from there. Okay. That makes more sense to me than anything else. 
Also, I might have accidentally deleted a hole in this. So I need to fill that in with a block. Just like that. There we go. So now it doesn't look so off. Also, this bit right here looks a bit weird too. Uh, we'll paint that in a slightly different grey. Because uh, otherwise everything's the same colour. And that looks good actually. That looks alright. So, get inside, get this thing moving. And see if we like the colour. Alright, here we go. So we are actually moving now. And we are green. We're going to call ourselves the Green Machine. Just for right now. Um, I think it looks pretty good from the, the, the front. I feel like it looks okay from the side. I feel like from the back it looks very ugly. However, once we actually add a, um, a tender to this, I don't think it'll look as ugly. So, I think I'm going to keep it the way that it is. Anyway, um, what do we think? Do you guys like the way that it looks? Do you hate the way that it looks? Let me know in the comments down below, and uh, we'll see what we come up with in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys know how to do the, um, the steam pressure uh, issue, how to fix that, like when we stop, uh, let me know in the comments down below too. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.